Hello and welcome. Let us have a look at the flux gate magnetometer. This is an instrument capable of measuring the strength of any component of the earth's magnetic field. So here we are specific. It can measure any component. We shall look at other types of magnetometers and we shall see that some of them will not be able to measure say the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field. So usually it's made up of a bar of high susceptibility in terms of ferromagnetism and here we have a bar that we can use to create our flux gate magnetometer. So we shall wrap a coil around this bar and we shall have to supply it with some electric field so that we can induce a certain magnetic field around this coil. So a coil is wrapped around the bar and the electric field is applied. Whenever you have electric current, usually there is some magnetic field that is generated. So the bar magnet becomes magnetized and generates its own magnetic field. So because of the electric field, we tend to create this magnetic field around this bar. So in a flux gate magnetometer, we normally use two parallel bars. So it's not only one, we normally use two bars that are closely placed together. So we shall always ensure that we shall include our primary coil. This is the primary coil, the coil that we are wounding around the coil, sorry, around the bar. So the direction in which the coil is wrapped around the bar is reversed. So assuming we have this first coil or this first wire heading to this bar and then we are trying to wound it around this bar in a clockwise direction. So when you reach the second bar, we shall have to wound it in the anti-clockwise direction so that the flow of current is in a different direction. That's what we mean by it's wrapped around the bar and it's reversed in the second bar. So the direction of the coil is reversed. So this will induce this will induce magnetic fields in two cores that have the same strengths but opposite orientation. So you'll find that for example if this is our first bar, if we have some magnetic fields of this type, let me sketch something, maybe they are in this direction. You will find that because we reversed the, this other coil, we shall have them in a different direction. We shall have them somehow opposing the first one. So you will find that they are in different directions but they are of the same strength. So because they are of the same strength, that means they will tend to cancel out. So how do you obtain the magnetic fields of the same strength? Obviously ensuring that the dimensions of the rods are equal and probably the number of turns of these coils are also the same. Then what happens when we induce or when we place our two parallel bars in an external magnetic field? And in this case, it's the earth's magnetic field. So when we do so, if we have the earth's magnetic field here, magnetic field, you'll find that one of these cores or rods will have its magnetic field in the direction of the earth's magnetic field, while the other one, we shall see that it is the other way around. So if this is our coil A or core A, you'll see that this magnetic field due to the due to core A is reinforcing the magnetic field due to the earth. So because they are facing the same direction. While this second one they are facing in a different direction, so it's kind of getting reduced. So that difference in terms of magnetic fields will somehow induce a measurable voltage in a secondary coil. So because of the extra or the difference in the magnetic fields between our 
core A and core B, we shall tend to induce a measurable voltage in our secondary coil. Now, the first wires produced were our primary coils. However, when you look at this setup, we have now another wire that is not connected to any battery that is wound around the two rods. So this is our secondary coil. This is our wire. Let's call these ones. This is our secondary coil. So because the magnetic the magnetic fields produced by A and B are no longer cancelling out because in A we have seen that it's being reinforced while in B it's not being reinforced, it's actually being reduced. We have some overall magnetic field that will be present and will induce a measurable voltage in our secondary coil and this can be measured somewhere. So that measurable voltage is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field which is our external or our earth's magnetic field. So if we want to measure different if we want to measure different dimensions we can easily set up multiple flux gate sensors that is to say we can place two maybe in the z dimension then another one in the x dimension and another one in the y dimension in this way we can easily measure all the components of the earth's magnetic field the horizontal components x and y the vertical component z can also be determined or we can use the same flux gate but by orienting it in different positions so that's how it the flux gate magnetometer works basically two parallel rods that have coils wound around them in different directions and then placing them in a magnetic field or external magnetic field and obviously the voltage that is given off will be proportional to the strength of that magnetic field and it can somehow give us an idea on the magnetic field present in that given dimension that's all i had for you thanks for watching don't forget to like share comment subscribe stay safe